when I went to my mall, uh, Springfield Mall, I saw something that kind of made me sick in my stomach. Springfield Mall is a very, very small mall on the East Coast. It's not very big. It's larger than the one that's in Delaware that I know of, but it's decent. It has a lot of good shops in it. I like going there sometimes just for fun. But the one thing that disturbed me was that I saw a target. A giant target that was set up right there in the mall. Now, you gotta understand, Target sell everything. Target sell food, Target sell DVDs, Target sell books, Target sells clothing, Target sells exercise equipment, Target sells cookies, Target sells candy, Target sells chips, Target sells any fucking thing that you can think of iPods even. This Target is a fucking mall. So there's a Target inside of a mall, which obviously means that there are two malls within one mall. This is totally ridiculous. I once said to my father, way back when, that Look, I don't understand why there's a Target right here when there's a mall already there. Wouldn't that take business away from the smaller shops in the mall? And my dad said, oh no, it won't take away business from the smaller shops in the mall. It will, it will increase business for them because everyone likes a Target. Everyone likes having something convenient in the, th in the mall itself. Well, maybe that's what's killing us. Maybe convenience is what's killing us. Maybe if there wasn't so many convenient shops like Target, and maybe if there's more malls with little tiny shops, maybe the convenience wouldn't be a wouldn't be way too convenient. If you're going to put a giant, if you're gonna put a giant store that sells everything next to a mall that sells everything except in individual shops. What do you think is going to happen? You're going to go to the cheapest place, which is the Target. People are going to buy more and more from Target, making other shops within that mall lose their money. And this is not capitalism at its finest. It is corporatism at its finest. There are a lot of people that need to have a living and a lifestyle, and they have a living and a lifestyle dependent on their income that they make from these little tiny shops inside of the mall. They might be owned by other corporations that aren't a Fortune 100 or Fortune 500 corporations, but they are still uh, they are still sources of income for other people to go into and make money. So, once their shops have been closed down because of the local Target being within the mall, what do you think is going to happen? Target's going to take over the mall. Target's going to destroy the other part of the mall, which I think is unfair because I actually like going to the mall because I think it's fun. But if you're going to destroy it and you're just going to put a fucking Target there, what do you think is going to happen to these people's lives? These people are going to look for more jobs. They'll be able to go to Target. They'll be able to get a job at Target but probably for less money than they were making at the Disney shop or some other shop because you know this is the only shop that you can work at now and um and that's just in that area uh, just imagine what will happen when the target on um, the target begins taking over all the malls in America all the malls in the east coast all the malls on the west coast even 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 in small town America. What if instead of small town America having a little shop for uh, for groceries and a little shop for trinkets and stuff, Target comes over and says, well, you know, we're going to start making trinkets in this little aisle and we're going to start selling exactly the same things that you can find in small town America. 
Now, no longer you won't have a, a nice walk around small time on, ta on town America, but you'll have one big target to go to every single fucking day of your life. Do you want that to happen? This is globalization. Once that happens, the target will understand well, we're, uh, well, we already have, oh, uh, we already have a monopoly over here in the United States. And the United States will say, oh, well, you can't have a monopoly. So Target will split off into little, uh, little different stores. But these little different stores are still going to be a part of the same corporation. And once they're part of the same corporation, it's just going to be, it's just going to be owned by the same corporation and it will particularly not be a monopoly because the United States won't see it as that because they're little different stores but why would that matter in the first place because it's the same corporation and what's gonna happen the only place of business that you can work at is a fucking target and this is why Target is wrong. This is why Walmart is wrong. This is why corporatism is wrong. If you want capitalism, keep capitalism safe. Keep capitalism safe from these fucking huge stores.